In this next video, we're going to perform some soft tissue techniques using a fascial wax from a company called Songbird and also using the Body Master fascial tool. And it is a stainless steel instrument that we will use to do some treatment. First of all, we are going to apply a little bit of wax. We don't need much. Just put a place a finger rather than digging it in, just wipe it on the wax and apply it to an area so we we have a, a sheen on the skin rather than it being shiny. If, you, if it's too shiny, you'll start to slip and you won't have any grip. I'll be fine. Every movement we do, the patient is going to move. Okay, so start with, they are going to rotate and then slowly bring the chin down. And on the tool, we've got different edges. We have a, a slightly wider edge here and a, a narrower edge. And um, so start with a wider edge and just to see how it feels with the patient. And what we can do is as they slowly rotate and bring the chin down, we can actually work both ways. In reality, you probably find it easier just to work as the tissues lengthening. However, it feels quite nice as they are just performing the movement so you can work through the tissues as they are coming back and forth. And you can see already that the tissue has gone red quite quickly. This is called an aerofema. And just be careful because you are using a stainless steel piece of equipment and you can cause um, like bruising. Bruising is called an ecchymosis and you can cause a, a hematoma, if you like, to the skin quite quickly. So just be a little bit careful on pressure. So when you're ready, off you go. This is working around the levator, so we can just glide through that. Pressure okay? Yeah. Yeah, so you can just work through. We can work into the trapezius. You know, we are going to cover quite a lot of the, the tissues as we're coming through that. And if you feel you get a bit of friction, just apply just a little bit more wax to that area and then you can just glide through. This is working through into the, the rhomboids. Can you see what the patient is naturally doing? She is starting to flex in the C-spine and then round the shoulders where I can just work through the whole area. Okay, coming across into that sort of area in here. Okay, just put a little bit of wax there. To that area. So every now and again, just add a little bit more. What's also quite nice is, put, place your arms across your chest, please. And then the patient can slowly rotate one way yeah, so maybe we can start in a slight right rotation and then off you go. We can then ask the patient to rotate to the left and then come back. Okay, so I can just work through the tissues across this sort of area in here. All right, good. If you want to, you can almost like do a muscle energy technique. So we can ask the patient just to rotate to my, let's rotate to the right. So my patient is pushing to the right. The idea of that is called a PIR, post-isometric relaxation. 10 seconds is the ideal time, but what we've got now, we have a window of opportunity of 25 seconds because it's a relaxation process. So the patient can take a breath in and then breathe out, please, and then rotate to the left. And if you want to, my hand is here is guiding them, so slightly passive, even though it's active by the patient, I can get them to move and I'm guiding the speed how they are rotating. I can almost like stop her and I can continue in the rotation here. And you can also see she's flexing down to the left just to lengthen some of these tissues in here. We can also do an MET to the neck. Relax your arms now. We have a choice. We can have a side bend to the right. Okay, with a little bit of rotation, it's okay. Yeah, or the patient can slowly push back so she can extend because it still will use the trapezius and levator. 10 seconds, we induce a relaxation. Take a breath in. And as the patient breathes out, we can then glide through the levator into the, as close as we can to the C-spine. Patient can come back. And then she can also, off, she goes again, rotate into the left and side bending. Okay, don't spend as long as you would maybe doing the massage technique because you can see we are causing an aerofema very quickly. And that's probably enough done on that right side. There we have using the fascial wax from Songbird and the Body Master fascial tool and uh, performing techniques to the levator, trapezius, the rectus spinal muscle of the thoracic and the rhomboid area.